Welcome to the Exit Plan Show. Today's guest is Elizabeth Moore. She's a member services director at Business Enterprise Institute in Denver, Colorado. Uh, stick around the end. We're going to give you an opportunity to subscribe to a newsletter and also win a free copy of the number one book about exit planning. Thank you to Zarlingo Rob, CPAs and business advisors in Wheat Ridge, Colorado, for providing a location for us to film this episode. At Zarlingo Rob, they think like business owners. For more information about Zarlingo Rob, please click the link in our website show notes. Hi, I'm Norman A. Hood, financial advisor and host of the Exit Plan Show. I interview America's top advisors like today's guest, Elizabeth Moore, to help business owners like you enjoy more personal freedom, grow your company faster, and retire someday on your own terms. So again, with us is Elizabeth Moore with Business Enterprise Institute in Denver, Colorado. She manages a national network of exit planning professionals. And if you want more information about Elizabeth or Business Enterprise Institute, you can check out the show notes at the end of this episode. Hey, Elizabeth, welcome back to the Exit Planning Show. Today we're going to talk about step six of the seven-step exit planning process, which is about business continuity. And I know a lot of problems can come up in that area. Uh, what are some of the ones you see most often? You know, Norm, we see a lot of different kinds of problems when we're looking at business continuity because in exit planning, continuity is really more about a broad look at the company and it's not so much about just, you know, what's going to happen to your ownership if something happens to you. So that would be sort of basic business continuity. Deal with the ownership interest and we can be done. But in proper exit planning, there are really many more factors that have to be considered. So we need to look at what is the income that's being produced by the business and do we need to perpetuate that for the benefit of the business owner or his or her family? family mm -hmm. and on down the line and and is it important that the business continue in the community or in its industry? Is it important to the business owner that employees who've been there for a long time keep their jobs? If something happens to this business owner, are the business owner's personal assets or personal wealth, so uh, anything from real estate to investments to other kinds of accounts, are those pledged? Are they at risk? For business activities, business owners often have signed personal guarantees for all kinds of business obligations that their family or their estate are going to have to come make good on uh, at the time that something happens to the business owner. So business continuity should really be about something along the lines of continuity of ownership and continuity of leadership in the business, continuity of the company overall and its activities in the community in the industry and in its relationship with the business owner's family. So when you start to look at this, it's so much more multifaceted than traditional continuity planning that just involved buying an insurance policy and putting it somewhere and having a buy-sell agreement or talking to someone about them taking over the business if something happens to you. We really need to do more complete planning than that. So the biggest challenge that we have is really, is really dealing with the expectation of business owners that something will be taken care of in their business even though they haven't done the proper planning to make that the case. So business continuity solutions are really much more important as we go forward in a riskier times and with business owners who've got greater level of difficulty in finding purchasers for their business and in finding successor owners that they can rely on. and what we try to do in our exit planning comprehensive approach is to say, okay, how can we deal with all of these situations at once? And what kinds of planning would allow us to protect the family, protect the estate, protect the business, protect employees and their jobs, if that's something that's important, protect the company, protect the welfare of anyone else that's connected to the business. And when we look at it from that kind of an approach, then we're able to do more thorough planning that really addresses all of the contingencies that are likely to happen for our business owner clients. Okay, great. For more information about uh, the problems that occur in Step 6, uh, please visit our website. You can check out the show notes, and you can also find more information about Elizabeth and Business Enterprise Institute. Uh, while you're on our website, please subscribe to our newsletter, which also gives you an opportunity to win a copy of the number one selling book about exit planning.